everybody, it's Angie. Today is Thursday and I had to pull over on the side of the road. Well, not a side of the road, in a parking lot, see? <laughs> a little, in a little like strip mall, I guess you could call it, by my house, to share this recipe with you because it was so delicious. Like it was beyond good. So I'm here, I got my coffee, it's leaking. I managed to spill on myself already. And I think I've had this for about 10 minutes, which, is not a surprise, not a shock. I usually end up with some sort of food on my, on myself. But I have my light roast coffee with some skim milk and um, a little bit of cinnamon and I'm ready to start my day. I was up this morning at 4.30, I could not sleep. I don't know why. I actually contemplated, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I contemplated getting up and doing stuff and starting my day and then I just thought, and you're nuts, like you need to go back to bed. But that's not the point where we're here. So um, I wanted to share with you this really great pizza that we made last night. So I'm just gonna start off by saying though that I am the type of person that's kind of like a renegade in the kitchen where I follow directions but I put a little spin on them too and I also don't, I usually put things together that don't sound like they'd go together. So for example, like in my chili, I put um, I, like a little bit of beer which, I mean, you're like probably, you know, thinking that's not original, but I also put peanut butter, and then I also put in a little bit of um, hot, spicy mustard, and just a bunch of other stuff. So, um, I just, I'm just gonna preface that, that I'm kind of just the person that doesn't really follow the rules when it comes to cooking, and I can thank my dad for that, um, because we would always have like surprise hamburgers where, you know, similar to my surprise soup and surprise spaghetti where we would have like surprise hamburgers and it would just be anything that we would find. So like Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce and breadcrumbs and whatever else you could find. So I'm just gonna start off by saying that. So the pizza that I made last night was a uh, turkey pepperoni basil rotisserie chicken pizza. I know you're probably thinking, oh my God, that's like a lot of meat, but it was so good, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> so, what if you want to recreate this um, and maybe put your own spin on it, definitely go ahead. But you will need a thin crust wheat pizza crust. So, we just got ours at Target. They come already pre made. I don't have time after working all day to make my own pizza crust. So, I took the easy way out. So, you're going to need that. You're going to need some pizza sauce. We used the uh, Simply Balanced Organic Pizza Sauce from Target. Can you tell I love Target? <laughs> and then you're gonna need mozzarella. You can either use the log or you can use the little shreddies. Um, we really like the log mozzarella at our house. So I use that. And then you're gonna need some turkey pepperoni, which you can get anywhere. <clears throat> and then if you have any leftover rotisserie chicken. So this is like perfect for when you have the leftovers of that. And then you're gonna need that and then some basil and some oregano and other than that, it's so easy. And I will tell you, your family will love it. I can't guarantee it, but basically that pizza literally like flew off the plate last night. We had two pieces left because like I said, my boyfriend and I are you know, on this weight loss journey so we didn't wanna overdo it. So we each only had two, but the little one, good golly, Miss Molly, she, loved it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to take your pizza crust and you're gonna want to add about a half a cup of your pizza sauce you can use more or less if you like it you know however you like it but we just use a half a cup because I quite frankly I wanted to use the rest of the bottle but it actually turned out to be the perfect amount so um, you're gonna want to put it in the middle and then spread it around towards the sides, excuse me, my throat is kind of like froggy today. And you're gonna wanna leave about a half of an inch um, along all the sides of the pizza crust because once the cheese starts to melt, it's gonna move out a little bit. And unless you want the, the sauce, which is totally fine if you want your sauce like way to the end, um, you can do whatever you want, but we like a little bit of a crust that you can pick up and not you know, get all full of mess and and stuff like that so it, it gives like the perfect amount so you're gonna want to leave about a half of it half an inch around the side excuse me golly I'm rude today <clears throat> all right I'm ready let's re let's keep going so after you do that you're gonna take your mozzarella so you're gonna want about a half a cup to a cup 
of mozzarella depending on how cheesy you like your pizza. Now we use the logs, like I said, and we use about seven to eight pieces, depending on how big your log is. Uh, and you're gonna have some, of course, that are like full pieces, and then you're gonna have some that are half to fill in the crack. And we left a, about, you know, about a little less than a half an inch in between each, in between like each, because once you start to get so much cheese on there, it starts to get oily, so it, it was really actually the perfect amount. So just space it out evenly throughout your pizza. Then uh, we added a half a cup of turkey pepperoni. You can use less, you can use more if you want. If you wanna use regular pepperoni, you can. But I used a half a cup of turkey pepperoni, just sprinkled it around. And then I just sprinkled some oregano. Definitely use as much as you want. I'm not a huge oregano fan, but I do like a little bit of it. And a little bit goes a long way, because I've overdone it before. And whoo, 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 Nelly. It tastes like plants. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. So um, just sprinkle some oregano on the top and then you are going to put your rotisserie chicken. So we had a cup of rotisserie chicken left. I just chuffed it up in little small pieces and sprinkled that on top. And then you put that in the oven. I baked it for at 425. It was just a really thin crust at 425 in my toaster oven. So regular ovens will have to, you know, you'll have to account for that. But I don't like using the oven. I don't, I don't like, it takes too long to heat up and then it gets your whole house hot. So we use the toaster oven. So I made it in the toaster oven, 425 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, you, I mean, you know when pizza's done and how do you, you know, to your liking. So we like it with the cheese nice and, nice and, um, what should I say, melty, but not too melty, you know what I mean? And then the crust, pretty crisp so um, leave it in there and then right before you take it out I would say about a minute or two before you take it out you're gonna add some fresh basil now we have a huge basil plant growing in our garden so I just went outside and plucked a few of those but you just put that on top put it back in let it finish and you're good to go um, that way the basil doesn't get too ishy um, but it just gets to like the right perfect consistency so if you want to cut up your basil you can we just like the full basil leaves and to be totally honest, I was pooped yesterday. I worked like 12 hours. So the last thing I wanted to do was cut up basil and make my own pizza crust and pizza sauce. So um, yeah, pretty simple. And I will let you know, it is so good. I was a little leery about it at first cause I was like, ooh, Ange, that's a lot of meat. Like you're taking a risk girl. But we were pleasantly surprised. So again, you will need pizza crust, whatever kind you want, pizza sauce, turkey pepperoni, rotisserie chicken, mozzarella, basil, and oregano. So if you make this pizza, please let me know how you like it. It, I will have to make it again. I, I just, I will have to make it again. It was so light. I know it sounds weird when I say it was light, but um, it, it, it wasn't oily at all. There was like hardly any grease on it. Um, the rotisserie chicken gave it just like a little light taste. We made a, I actually made my, um, I make my own rotisserie chicken at home. So um, we had some of that left and it just gave a really light taste. The turkey pepperoni isn't as greasy as regular pepperoni and it just was heavenly. Like I am like dreaming about this pizza again. I may have to make it again this weekend. So anywho, I will stop, I gotta get going to get to work because I clearly have to go buy a new shirt because I have coffee all over this one. So I hope you all have a great day. Good luck making the pizza. If you have any other pizza recipes, please feel free to share them. Like I said, we are always looking for fun and new recipes. We love, or when I say we, I mean me because my boyfriend doesn't cook. So I love new recipes. I love trying things out in the kitchen. And I hope you all have a great day. And please like this video and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.